Good morning, guys. And good morning to you. You slept. Yeah. Yeah, just interrupt when I'm talking. That's really mature. He slept really well last night. He did not nap, so he like just poof, like a rock. I don't know how why people say like a rock. Like rocks are always asleep, in my opinion. What do you think? Nothing this time? You don't want to interrupt me again? Great. Great timing. So Dilemma, just like last week, we haven't found a sitter. Just like no one wants to babysit Christopher, even though he's really just up in his room. So if you are interested in babysitting Christopher, just put a comment and we'll pick you up. Get you an airplane ticket here and uh, get you here next Wednesday. JK, don't do that. Don't expect me to pay for that. Or just don't even show up at my door. That'd be weird. Anyway, it's time to start the day and get some things done before I have to go to work. And then... Maybe I'll get to play with this guy. We'll see. All right, I got my breakfast there, but look, there's the mug that Lauren didn't even know we've had. We've had it for years. And as you can see, it's close to the top there, but, you know, that's four cups plus milk. When I poured it and it was just four cups, I'm like, you could pour six cups in here. That would be its max, six, but definitely could fit that if you wanted to drink it black. Yeah. Which I don't want to drink it black. I like a little bit of cream, but you like it black, don't you? You love when I put black coffee in your bottle, don't you? Yeah, that's what you're looking for now? I don't give him coffee. But it looks like he could use some. I did like some of the mugs you guys tagged on Instagram, and uh, one person actually put a really funny mug on, from Amazon on the YouTube video. That thing was huge. I definitely could not drink one of those. I don't even know how anyone could. That much liquid would just like come out the rest of your orifices. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I just like say orifices. Shut your orifice. But not all of them, don't shut your butt. What you doing, buddy? Whoa, you're crazy. Is it safe for you to have a bag like that? Yeah, just don't put it over your head. There you go, here's your car. Do you want it? <coughs> nope, you don't use words. The size of these action figures is probably a good graph for how successful the movies will be. Why didn't anyone like our movie? <coughs> it wasn't that bad. <coughs> Come on, Clark, relax. <laughs> Our movie has made millions of dollars and it's not even out yet. America. We got a new book called Lick and it's about things licking other things and it looks like the bear got his head ripped off. Do you know how that happened? Did he lick the wrong thing? That's right, stranger danger. Oh wow, another bear bites the dust. What do you have against bears? <coughs> That's right. Well, look who forgot to destroy evidence. Caught him in the act. The poor bear. He ain't licking anything. Isn't that weird? <laughs> His head decapitated looks like a cartoon dead head where they're like, Bleh. We should draw X's over his eyes. Christopher, I have to report you to the Humane Society. Sorry, pal. I know you're my son, but the law is the law. Here. Yeah, thanks for getting me the phone. I'll give him a call. I think their number is four... Hello? Humane Society? Yes. My son is the Great Bear Murderer. The Great. Why would you name him Great? That seems like a weird thing to say for someone who kills animals. Oh, you think you guys know everything about naming stuff? Well, how about this? Why don't we call the Humane Society the Hugh Lame Society? Boom. Look at all that mulch and manure. Don't want to be behind that. My life is already crappy enough. <laughs> I have a great life. Don't let that fool you. That was just a bad joke. Like most of my jokes. All right, off to punch the clock, and then I'll punch my stomach with food later. That doesn't make any sense. All right, see ya. Well, the verdict is in. No babysitter. We could not pull it together. So Christopher is going to join us. We'll see how that goes. You never know with the baby. Don't know why I sang it. But you do. It's true. You never know, singing or not. He'll probably be fine. He's pretty chill in public. We're gonna go for a little Greek cuisine or Mediterranean. I don't know. It looks delicious. I think I've had it before, but a long time ago. Why did I pause before I finished my sentence? And I think we're gonna rent that movie Sisters, not because I want to see it, but because Lauren does. Now I'll say this. I think Amy Poehler is a very funny performer and writer, artist, if you will. 
I love Amy Poehler. I love, you know, she's a founding member of Upright Citizens Brigade. And uh, she deserves a lot of credit just for that alone. But even what she's done after that is also really inspiring. So, yeah. Great, great comedy. What a great love song. It's clearly about stalking. Listen to the Every Breath You Take by the police. He is clearly talking about stalking a woman, which is when you would actually need to call the police. How ironic. I think if you guys really sat back and listened to some of the most famous love songs, air quotes, you might realize that uh, that's not love, that's obsession, or that's stalking, that's weird, that's quite criminal. So, you know, listen with an open ear as well as an open heart. Mm, I should write greeting cards. Well, Lauren did not want to waste any time. She wanted the romance to start. She had to see me. We had to go out. The baby has to get to bed. That's There's that too, yes. What's your favorite love song? Candy by Mandy Moore. <laughs> Candy by Mandy Moore. I would say that's definitely a love song. I would say it's not a good song. Mandy Moore had quite a career back in the day. Lauren used to work at Build-A-Bear for many years. How many years? Three and a half. Three and a half years. So in Build-A-Bear, Lauren said they played like the same like four songs. Didn't you say Mandy Moore Candy was on that? I don't know. How am I remembering a story you told me and you don't even remember it? Because it's not important. Our conversations aren't important to you? Not that one. I remember every conversation ever. I would have been annoyed if they were playing that song because I like it. Uh, well, when I worked in Blockbuster and we had the same DVD previews of like all the same songs and stuff, I got really annoyed. We got a new one once a month, and by the end of the month, I wanted to tear my eyes out and shove them up my butt so I could see what real poop looks like. Mm. Yeah? I don't know why that made sense, but it kind of did. Well, we found out this guy doesn't like hummus too much. But mommy and daddy do, so it's almost gone. Pretty good. He wants his oat oh, I gotta give him his oat crisp. Mmm, good bite. So I got spicy chicken shawarma. Yeah, I got it extra spicy, so if I can handle this. Oh my god. That's so good. Not too spicy? No. It's really good. Is yours good? you go with the gyro? Guys, I know it's gyro. I know someone commented on that before. Lauren and I have this joke because in Pittsburgh, and if you're from Pittsburgh, you probably know this, everyone calls them gyros there. And we were asking for a gyro and they didn't know what we were talking about. Remember that? Yeah. So you should remember sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, you didn't know what it was called. <laughs> yeah, they tried to make us feel dumb, but we ended up feeling pretty smart. Mmm, -hmm. hummus, good. Lauren and I are about to watch Sisters. I'm skeptical, but I was also a little skeptical of Daddy's Home, and that was great. So, this could definitely still be good. It's rated R, so that's something. Not that that always means it's good, but at least there'll be a couple F-bombs. Yay! So, we just finished Sisters. It was okay. It, was, it wasn't bad, certainly not. It had some really funny parts, and both Tina Fey and Amy Poehler were great. There were some good side characters, too. I, I'd give it a 6, 7 out of 10. What do you think, Lauren? It was just okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely worth a free red box rental. Rental, why'd I sound like that? Sometimes accents just come to me. Usually made up accents. Maybe it's from a former life. But whatever life it was from, I'm sure I was still fat. Well guys, that is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks so much for watching. Not much to show you today, but you know, it's date night and we had a child, so. Lay off me, I'm starving. That's a quote from Saturday Night Live. You should check that sketch out. But I digress. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you later. Whatever, dude.